Ah, copyright strike, fuck! Very short video here. Just wanted to show the issue of the Rampage 6 Extreme Encore and Omega boards. 3090 bits power for the one three. I don't know about other bits power rear back plates, but they hit the very bottom of all the RAM slots. So I'll be using this file to file them all down. So I have now taped off the entire motherboard. Um, since the pieces are going to fall down here, my power supply is not facing upward. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm first going to use the hand file and see how that goes. So uh, I redid the prep work here and covered everything that I felt like needed to be covered. And uh, I have my Dremel here. Always wear eye protection when using a Dremel. Um, and if I, if I really fuck up, then um, at least I'm taking a video of it. Right there. Um, I'm having an issue where actually I need to remove the power supply because my drum was hitting the bottom of it. So, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. To say these were a lot harder to cut for some reason. The nice part is though, I don't think anyone will notice if I didn't tell them. Now before I remove the tape, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some canned air and I'm gonna lift the top up and when I spray in, a lot of air will come out here, and that will make sure, as I remove the tape, that all the pieces are coming out towards the, um, towards the outside of the motherboard rather than going in. It's a good thing, though, that this motherboard was, uh, the, a salvaged motherboard, not not a um, brand new motherboard, so I'm not too worried. It was repaired by me. So let's give this motherboard some new opportunities. Now cleaning up is good by just reusing the tape that you peel off of the motherboard. Especially if you can't take out some parts that are not very easy to remove. It's a nice thing that I have dust filters because the dust filters catch a lot of the crap falling down. Alright. So here's the big reveal.
take off my safety glasses so you can't see what I'm doing. So here's my 3090. It better fit. What's it it's stuck on now? What? Okay, well, it's not hitting the RAM slots anymore. So, let me just hope that I can get this in. And there we go. It now fits. On this side, it didn't really matter because the GPU is sagging anyways. But it now fits. Same down there. Put all the RAM back in. After I use the duster spray one more time Whoops. All right, so there it is. Bye.